the first time ever a computer destroyed a human at chess. Maniac 1 was a 1951 computer tasked with thermonuclear calculations, then one day it turned on its human handler, decimating him. The 6 by 8 foot behemoth weighed half a ton and was a unique machine designed and built by nuclear physicist Nicholas Metropolis. He was recruited by Robert Oppenheimer, yes, the very same one who helped lead the Manhattan Project in its creation of the atomic bomb. In 1956, programmers Paul Stein and Mark Wells wrote a chess program for it. They were not playing standard chess as you know it, rather a specially designed variant played on a smaller board without bishops to accommodate the early computer's limited capacity. The game was actually its third after a game against itself, and a second, which it lost, to an experienced human player. Finally, a third, a battle against a lab assistant who was introduced to the game just the previous week, specifically for the intended matchup, where Maniac exacted cyber revenge upon the human race. Here is the game. The computer begins with a central pawn move, and the lab assistant responds with the Los Alamos chess version of the Sicilian defence, and simultaneously prepares to, well, Fianchetto his queen? Maniac plays knight to the rim, maybe not such a great place to develop your knight to, but it's hard to see where else he could have put it. Black plays another pawn to the dark squares, I think he's setting up for a game of checkers. Oops. White doesn't want to be outdone. Black now decides to attempt a transposition from checkers to the king's gambit. White undevelops the knight, those backwards knight moves can be so hard to find. An aggressive A pawn. Maniac takes, admittedly not displaying great positional understanding. Black recaptures with the pony. What?! The delayed bong cloud. The lab assistant sinks his knight into the centre. White challenges with his own pony. After the hooves stop flying and the dust settles, White occupies the square. But only for a second, Black takes with his pawn, calling check on the brave king, who bravely steps back to safety next to his wife. Another pawn advance. One on the opposite side of the board. Rook to the open file, and the pawn keeps marching. The rook used to be indecisive, but now he's not so sure. The lone footman proceeds. The queen spreads her wings, black doesn't want to be outdone, steps back with check, king goes right, a multi-purpose move now, rook attacks black's queen and simultaneously manages to blunder his own pawn, takes queen and takes queen. Will the computer spot the mate in one threat? Impressive, he does, truly Stockfish's ancestor. Black continues his purposeful rook moves. White pawn advances. Would you have guessed? It's a rook move again, even at the cost of a pawn. White takes, and here is where it starts really going wrong for the human, despite having been up a pawn for quite a while there. He plays the pawn forward, probably a good move a couple of moves ago, but now he's just getting rolled. Knight enters the game with check, only one space to the king due to the advanced pawn, and a fork follows immediately. King up, shaking. Congratulations! It's a girl. Knight moves. Mate in two, can you see it? Actually, there are a few. This checkmate with the knight is quite elegant, as the rook down here is still preventing the king from running any further. So interestingly, although expectedly, the earliest computers were better at tactics and weaker at positional play. I believe that has remained the case until quite recently, where AI chess engines, the likes of Leela and Google's Arthur Zero, have vastly improved in this area. Thanks for watching.